Hello, I'm David Holly. I'm the new Consul General for Australia covering South India. And I'm very much looking forward to working with the people and the businesses here in Andhra Pradesh, which is why I've come here to FAPCHI and to be able to talk to uh, members here about the opportunities we have in the trade between our two countries. Why Australia? Well, our trade is increasing quite considerably and we have great opportunity uh, in a number of sectors to be able to increase our engagement between the two countries. And we're here looking at expanding our office here in, in Hyderabad, but also our offices in Chennai and Bangalore and also our new office in Kochi because we are here to stay. We are here to increase our relationship and we are here to make sure that we have an opportunity to harness the opportunity that that Andhra Pradesh has and the engagement and the interaction that we can have between our businesses and your businesses in trade and investment. In this year we have a number of investors. Uh, we've set up a, a very big fund, uh, for example, uh, Macquarie Bank has set up with the State Bank of India, uh, a fund which is around about $3 billion looking at just uh, infrastructure investment here in India. And uh, so that is just one example, but we are seeing many other companies like one I will be opening an office for Oakton, uh, an Australian company, here on Friday. Uh, they've decided to uh, expand their office. They already have an office here. They're expanding their office because they see the potential here in, in Andhra Pradesh. Um, in terms of our uh, bilateral trade, in 2005 it was 8 billion. In 2010 it was 22 billion US dollars. And we're looking at a target that our trade businesses have set to 40 billion dollars uh, by 2015. And that's going to happen because of the strong trade and investment between our two countries. Most of our trade is in the resources uh, sector. So Australia is exporting to India um, uh, a lot of uh, resources like coking coal, uh, looking at gold. We send a lot of gold here uh, for jewellery consumption in, in the country. And also things like copper, fertilisers. But much of this is because Indian companies have invested in Australia and they are returning that investment uh, by importing uh, to, to India. This becomes the foundation block, so 50% of all steel in India is made with Australian coking coal. And uh, uh, much of the gold that uh, the ladies and others wear uh, is coming from Australia as well, as well as other countries around the world. So we are, are delighted to be able to have that trade. India is sending us, of course, your fantastic uh, IT companies to help our country, companies um, in Australia become more productive. And uh, we are very keen to uh, continue that trade. Um, but also we are seeing a lot of trade in terms of textiles, uh, jewellery um, and other areas as well. So it's very much a, a partnership. Around. Yes, on education we are working much more closely with the Indian government and uh, we are looking to have much more collaboration. Um, uh, clearly we still want to look at high quality students coming to Australia but a lot more effort will be made to deliver technical and vocational education here in India uh, rather than Australia. So we are, are looking very much uh, at, at a new partnership with India on education focused on excellence.